Hi everyone, my name is Awis. Uh, I'm currently a postdoc under the CERTES project, and in this presentation, I'll talk to you about the multi-scale modeling of composite structures using shell elements. Uh, the work here is done by myself, Basam El Said, and Stephen Hallett. Uh, so first of all, I'd like to give an overview of the research challenge that we're trying to address. Uh, so the progressive failure analysis of uh, composite structure is notoriously expensive uh, computationally, and the reason for this is that the structural failure behavior of composite is uh, very often driven by damage behavior of defects and features that happen at the meso or the micro lens scales, uh, which is very often very small compared to the size of our structure. And in order for us to make any kind of uh, meaningful numerical predictions, all of these fine scale details, they must be included in the model. And we often end up with a very large model uh, that takes a very long time to solve. And this issue actually presents a huge challenge for us to efficiently design and optimize uh, composite structures. And the aim of our work here is to really uh, enable the failure analysis of very large aerospace structures through the use of multi-scale modeling. Okay, so in our multi-scale framework, uh, this issue here is treated as a two-scale problem. So first we model the structural lens scale or the macro lens scale using shell elements. And these shell elements will span the full thickness of the local laminate. And at this length scale, uh, we will account for the, uh, the structural geometry, the loading and boundary conditions, and also things like the structural instability. And now, the stress strain response at every material point on the shell here is obtained from a high fidelity RVE analysis at the mesoscopic length scales. And these RVE models have a detailed definition of defects and features, such as wrinkles, uh, ply drops, and cut plies. And they also account for the complex damage events. Uh, so in our framework, there are two key ingredients. The first ingredient is, of course, a link between the, the macroscopic and the mesoscopic model. Uh, so in, in our framework, the um, mechanisms for information exchange between the two lens scales uh, are formulated using the so-called second-order homogenization. And our second key ingredient here is that we want to take the computation of the high-fidelity RVE models offline. And what this means is that these models, uh, they will be pre-computed and also st uh, stored in a database and they can be directly accessed by the shell model during an online analysis. So effectively, what this means is that uh, this framework provides a shell material model that can be used as a plugin to existing industrial models. And our, our objective here is to really get in line with the current uh, practices where very large aerospace assemblies are often modeled as shells. So previously in the Bristol Composite Institute, uh, this type of approach has been uh, developed by Basam El Sai and Stephen Hallett using a so-called first-order computational homogenization. Uh, so where essentially uh, solid models are used at both the macro and the meso lens scales, as opposed to our current approach where we have shell elements at the macro scale and then solid elements at the meso scale. So if you're interested in this work, uh, please visit the paper cited here. So now back to the multi-scale framework for shell models. Uh, we have uh, validated it in geometric nonlinear cases. So here I have a sandwich panel that is subjected to a lateral shear load at the tip uh, plus an eccentric load. So eventually this uh, panel will buckle in the lateral direction and falls back onto itself, uh, which results in a strong uh, sh strain localization near the root. And this actually causes quite severe geometric nonlinear effects, both at the macro and also the mesoscopic lens scale. Right, so over here, I'm showing a comparison between the multi-scale and full-scale model solutions for different uh, uh, panel thickness values. And as you can see, there's very good agreements between the two sets of models. So currently, we are doing some developments to include material nonlinearity, such as delamination and matrix cracks in the RVE. And what you're seeing here is a single element test where I essentially apply some loads to the shell elements, which are then transferred to the uh, mesoscale where the crack path are modeled using cohesive elements. So from this fairly simple test cases, you can see that the, uh, the damage mode can indeed be represented correctly at the mesoscale. So uh, with that, uh, that brings me to the end of my presentation. So if you have some questions or if you want to chat with me about this project, uh, please come and find me at the uh, CERTES virtual table, uh, where you can also meet the rest of the team. Uh, otherwise, my email address is awis.he at bristol.ac.uk, or you can visit our project at the website shown here. So with that, thank you very much.